Hi, Martin here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your cursor. So we're going to look at how you can enlarge it, change the colors, and maybe add some cool effects like this. So let's get started. So firstly, let's look at one of the simplest ways that you can edit your mouse pointer or your cursor, and that is to change the size. To do this, to open up System Preferences, head to Accessibility, and from here, uh, it may seem when you're looking through the options you want to go to Pointer Control. Um, however, what we're actually looking for is Display. So on Display, we have uh, three options at the top. So go ahead and click on the middle option of Pointer. And then from here, you'll see that you have a Pointer Size Slider. Now, we have increments that we can go up in, or we can go in even finer parts, but you'll see as you move the slider, your cursor will grow or shrink in size. So have a play around with that and see which size you feel suits you best. So normal is right at the bottom, and then obviously you have the largest size at the top. So the other easy edit you can make to your cursor is the color. So you can see in the same window, underneath the pointer size, we have two options. We have pointer outline color, which is currently set to white on my cursor, and then pointer fill color, which is currently set to black. So if I go ahead and change, so this is my outline color, so I can get really fine in here. Um, I can go through and just select the color I want. So if I go in here and I select maybe a nice um, blue color, you can see the outline of my cursor is now blue. Same if we go to the fill color. So if I go over to here maybe, and I'm gonna have a nice uh, green on my cursor. So you can now see my cursor is green and has a blue outline. And if I adjust the size, we can kind of see that even better here. Okay, so, some great easy options to customize your cursor, but what if you're looking for even more customization options? Well, there's actually a wide variety of third-party apps that you can use. So you can see here, I've got the App Store open. If you go ahead and open it up, and then just search the word cursor in the search bar, you'll get a whole host of options, a whole host of applications that allow you to edit uh, and customize your mouse cursor in a variety of different ways. You'll see that a lot have in-app purchases, but they will at least let you try them for free. You can test them out, see if they give you what you're looking for, um, and then purchase parts if you want to. One such option is the first one here, and this is something called Cursor Effect 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up because I've already downloaded and installed. Now I've opened it up, you can see the effect that I had right at the start of the video is on my cursor. So there are a whole host of different effects that I can add to my cursor uh, using this Cursor Effect 2 software. So some you may like, some you might think that would be incredibly distracting, but it's certainly something fun to play around with. Now in this software you get a free use for seven days. Um, you can, however, if it's something that you enjoy using, um, it's only $2.99 to unlock it forever. So there you have it. Some simple ways to customize your cursor on Mac, whether you need to do that um, for visual sight reasons or you just want your cursor to look a bit cooler than the standard one does. I hope you found something useful. If you have, please like the video, consider a comment, and then also think about subscribing for more tech tips and tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.